Hello. Hi, everyone. Up until the literal last minute, until I started streaming, I've been talking about Sonic lore <laughs> with people on Discord. <laughs> like, I, literally, I just sent a message like 30 seconds ago in, the, in a spoiler chat I'm in. <laughs> How are we doing tonight? Oh, man, it's time for PK Out of the Shadows. I haven't played this game in a very long time. I played a lot of really fucking weird, like, licensed sh shovelware style games. And, uh, it's been enlightening. <laughs> Especially the Disney ones. I'm, I'm excited to see what I've got in store here. Uh, I hear that this is, uh, just Rayman 4. Rayman but bad, maybe. I don't know. I heard it was not very good, and I remember it not being, like, that great. But without further ado, we should get on with the PKing. We need to get out of the shadows, or whatever. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's start the game. I hope it's not super loud. Okay, no, it looks like it's fine. Oh, that is a little loud, actually. It's probably good. Yeah, I've heard the Italian Disney comic stuff is like cool. Just never engaged with it myself. PK. I had no fucking idea what PK stood for as a kid. I could play in Italian for the ultimate experience. No, I'll play in English. I don't know shit about Italian. I think Rob Paulson voices uh, PK in this. Because he has a separate voice from Donald. 
Okay, why is this kind of bumping though? I get to make a name? Wait. Okay, there we go. It only works with the D-pad. Can't hear game audio? Shit. I forgot to unmute it. There we go. You should be able to hear it now. Our name is Dip. We are Dip. I was thinking of doing dicks, but I saw the P and I knew what needed to be done. Save successful. Oh man, cutscenes? <laughs> this looks so crusty, I love it. Prepare for invasion. I like the presentation here, though. Like the comic book style. Oh, he's a security guard? Five nights at Donald's? Hello? Hello, hello? I was like lagging in the pre rendered cutscene. So called free thinkers. <laughs> My dude be falling asleep on the job, it's fucked up. going on? Is he having like a bad dream? I'm glad that I can like only barely tell what he's saying. I'm fluent in Donald Duck. Donald is being haunted by the animatronics. It's so true. Welcome to the stream. Stream great galaxy. It's good to have you. I forgot this dude was just like an orb, a floating orb duck. Mr. Donald Duck, please go to the middle of that yellow circle and stand still. What's the big idea? I don't think. Do it now! And do it. Do not move. What the fuck is happening? My god, I'm gonna get banned off Twitch for nudity. Stop! I think I might turn down the game a little bit more. Ready to leave the mothership. We can launch the invasion now, General. Like <laughs> uh, just a tad. Yeah, it's probably good. Ah, that's not it. Oh, you should play the game as Disco Donald. I want to play as Disco Donald. But I accidentally skipped it because I pressed one of the bumpers by accident. Are you fucking kidding me? Why is that a skip button? Yes. <laughs> I 
don't know what's happening anymore. I don't have context. Okay. Well, we're uh, we're PK now, and we're out of the shadows, I think. Okay, so we shoot. This certainly is the Rayman engine. <laughs> Over there, PK. That's an activation star, and they form the energy needed to use the teleport stations. Make certain that you collect as many as you can, so we can be sure it will work. This fucking time. this fucking voice acting is like so high quality, like the like, actual quality of the like clips, the recordings. Okay, so I can lock on with this. Can I charge? Okay, it doesn't look like it. What is the Smash 3DS outline? They put PK in the Smash 3DS. It was in the ESRB leak. Practice targeting. Let me create two virtual targets for you to practice on. Once the enemy is in your sights, press and hold the targeting button to engage the extra. Ah uh, yes, I love multi-platform license games that say the like the action button, the targeting button. Switch between the different targets. Try it out. My beloved. Okay, makes sense. If I press the action button... I don't know why I say that, because Sonic is like one of the only multi-platform games where they recorded separate lines for every button. Good work so far, PK. My sensors indicate an enormous amount of toxic energy coming from the levels below. League of Legends? The Evronians are up to something no good. Who are these Evronians? That certainly is Rob Paulson. That the Evronians are an alien empire that thrive by invading planets all over the galaxy. Together we will stop these savage villains. All right, let's do it! What on earth does PK mean? PK stands for the Scientific Latin Classification Platyrhynchos Phineticus. Oh, okay. Stated loosely, it means energized duck. Put the P and the K together and you have PK. Okay, okay. Make me proud, PK. All right, PK, let's go. Why is this music kind of bumping, though? Oh, I, I took damage. Oops. Hello? Who did the soundtrack? Oh, it's our first opponent. Watch out, PK. He's got a gun! From what I know, these alien creatures are what they call cool flames. I think the Evronian Empire uses cool flames as slaves to carry out their every request. With those pistols in their hands, I think they are carrying out orders to blast anything that moves. Keep your eyes open, PK. All right, let's shoot the shit out of this guy. Oh, I just walked right into his bullets. All right, you're dead now. This is so early 2000s. This is literally the most like early 2000s aesthetic thing I've seen in my life. I'm kind of I'm kind of here for it. God damn. Like, the pickup noise, the, like, all the sound effects, the visual style. What's going on here? Oh, shit, there's a guy. Yeah, this music kind of owns. What the fuck? Oh. Was the easy part. Now try jumping across to that area of Wait, do we have a glide move now? Transformers Propulsor. The Propulsor will help soften your landings and prolong. Let's fucking go! By pressing the jump button a second time. Hold on, this is awesome. This is 100 percent the Rayman 2 engine. <laughs> it has to be, right? Like I have a I have a float move. I, I, it, just, it just feels very Rayman. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, I, I don't think I could go through that gap. I think you need to find like a. Is there like a box or something? I can't move the camera, by the way. Okay, no, there isn't a box to platform onto. I just had to. What the fuck? 
It's a tight ass jump. Huh? Okay, I guess I can move the camera if I if I aim. Like resets the camera and puts it behind me. How the hell am I supposed to get that? Like over there. Oh, okay, it was fine this time. Oh, I want I want these things. Give me more. What was that? Hell yeah! I love dentist office games. It's my favorite genre of games. This game's kind of raw as hell. Oh no, PK! It looks like the Aronians have captured some scientists. Oh yeah, I forgot they're like hostages. I had to save. <laughs> Find the hostages and free them from these Evronian savages. You need to save as many as you can. They should be able to help you reach the Evronian mothership. You only have like a certain amount of time to save them too. I remember now. I remember that being super punishing when I was playing as a dumb eight-year-old. Probably less than eight years old. This is this is cool so far though. I'm digging this. It's it's got vibes. It's got like an aesthetic. Where's Mickey? Uh probably dead. See, we didn't we didn't watch the whole cutscene because I accidentally skipped it. For all we know, Mickey could have died in the first cutscene, and this is like the whole reason we're on our quest. I'm accepting that as canon now. Nice. Why is this music so fucking good? What the hell? What is it with licensed games of this era and having like banger soundtracks? It doesn't make any sense. I walked right into that. That was kind of cringe. Holy shit, this is so good. Oh, I want that kind of. Okay. Nice. We're getting everything. Wait, can I shoot those? Okay, no, I was just aiming on something else, I guess. This is absolutely Rayman engine, though. For, tho for those who are uh, not already aware, this was developed by Ubisoft. This is Rayman 4. Yeah, the, I love the cell shading. Cell shading is so good. Like, every game that uses it has not aged a day. Like, all the Sly games still look super good. Jet Set Radio looks super good. This actually looks super good. I would buy PK Requacked. I'm going to assume I don't want to be caught by that camera. Remember, PK, this is a sneaking mission. I almost said Donald, but this isn't Donald, this is PK. Fuck, I remember now. The fucking noise that they make. Where's the last one? Up here? Oh, he was down there the whole time and now he's dead. Okay, now I think he got teleported to the mothership. Well, we 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 missed a hostage, but it's fine. It's fine. We're not we're not getting we're not going for a full pacifist. <laughs> full pacifist PK out of the shadows. <laughs> Got 
God, I love licensed games. They're so it's it's always a grab bag. They're either like the worst thing ever, or they're like, or they're really cool, or somewhere in between. Accessing the memory card. You failed to save another hostage. I'm sending you the kernel audio file. Uh oh. Donald freaking duck. Actually, this isn't Donald, it's PK. Um, can you please get the lore correct? Otherwise, I'll have to ban you from my chat. <laughs> Grow up already. <laughs> Um, I don't have anything clever to say. I do have to grow up. Oh shit! I have different types of bullets now. Damn, this is kind of fucking awesome. I want those so bad. Come on. But yeah, I really wish there was more, like, cell shading in games. Just across the board. It never clicks how many weird, like, licensed games I played until I'm like, I should play some of the games that I played as a kid, and it's all weird shit like Magical Mirror and PK Out of the Shadows. It's never, it's never like the stuff that other people actually played, like Battle for Bikini Bottom. I only played that at my cousin's house. I had the movie game instead. Oh, there's a bunch of scientists in there. We gotta save all the hostages. Oh shit! Damn, this shit getting serious, huh? Alright, we got them all. No swearing, this is a kid game? I'm so fucking sorry. I cannot believe I would do that. Like, swearing is kind of shitty of me to do while we're playing a kid's game. Ah! Huey, Dewey, and Louie are watching right now? Fuck, you're right. I'm so fucking sorry, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. taking a lot of damage it's okay oh my god that came back way quicker than i was expecting this looks like a crash bandicoot level it does hi bush welcome why is this music so badass oh are we about to get a ground pound move Holy fucking shit! Rick, thank you, thank you for the three gifted subs! What if I gave out gift subs? What would you do? Uh, whatever you fucking want, except for Friday Night Funkin', because I- you need to pay me a hundred to do that. <laughs> thank you so much though, Rick, that's awesome. It's freaking epic of you, I'm not even gonna lie. That Friday Night Funkin' price is too low. See, that's what I was thinking too, but like, I'm not a big streamer. So I can't reasonably, like, 100 I think is like, a number that I could reasonably expect maybe someday someone would pay. Yeah, enjoy, uh, enjoy your emotes. There's, there's some good ones. And there's also some bad ones, like higher. <laughs> that emote sucks so bad. 
you also get access to the sub chat on my Discord channel, which I might actually start doing shit with. Mascot? Mascot is like a sphere object guy. Okay, hold on. Let me get the full picture of Mascot. So, I used to run like a server on, on Minecraft with a famous YouTuber attacking toucans called YoCraft. And so, we ended up closing it and I thought one, I thought one day, like, a couple years later, I was like, you want to be the funniest fucking April Fool's joke ever? What if I made, like, a fake YoCraft server, like, years after it closed down, that's just, like, a bunch of dumb bullshit? And, uh, my friend at the time created Mascot by just making a fucking, like, <laughs> just making a sphere through World Edit on Minecraft. Hold on, let me get the picture of him. I only have the- I only have one that I cropped out. Where is he? But just like a sphere made in world edit, and just gave him like gl funny little glasses and a mustache. See, here's 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 how he looks. Wait, you added the the mustache and hat? You're a genius. But yeah, this is mascot the mascot. That's his official name. He looks like the one onion in the rhythm of heaven mini game. He also, um, he also went through a character arc. He went through several character arcs. Um, in YoCraft 3 Revengeance, he lost his mustache. And in doing so, lost his dignity, and he's very angry about it. <laughs> but then, uh, but then in the latest game, uh, YoCraft 5, The Phantom Pain, he gets, uh, he gets a new, like, set of disguise goggles that have, like, a mustache on them. And he has the eye patch too, because you gotta have the eye patch. Okay, that's that's the end of the that's not the end of the Minecraft mascot lore dump. <laughs> I didn't know what to make my emotes and like sub icons, so I just fucking made the mascot. Uh, six months is the YoCraft three one, and then uh, one year is the YoCraft five. We should rebuild him to see what he looks like with the new textures. We should. Yeah, Rick gave out three gifted subs, which is fucking awesome. I love that guy. The, like, GameCube PS2 era was just a really good year, or, like, really good era for licensed games in general, because it was, like, so much less expensive to make games. So people could really, like, fart out whatever they want. <laughs> like, it was just an objectively good business decision to have a game to go with, like, every movie release. Because it was so cheap to do so. But one thing I was thinking of doing for subs is, uh, every, like, every, like, month or maybe, like, bi-weekly, having, like, a viewer's choice, almost, to, like, vote on a game to play that week. Like, I'd have, like, a thing of four, or even let people do write-ins, and then whichever gets the most votes, I'll, like, play for that viewer's choice stream. That was an idea I had to incentivize subs a little bit more. Oh, okay. This game's kind of fucking awesome so far. I'm not gonna lie. So what you're saying is more chances for Rugrats games. I'm actually planning on streaming some of the other Rugrats games. Okay, Ryan and Rick. Um, I would probably need to find a fourth, but I have a proposition. Hold on. What's that? What's that game called? <laughs> I have a I have a fucking proposition for you two. You're welcome to say no. I think this is a multiplayer like party game.
<laughs> this would be a fucking awesome stream. It would be like the worst stream of all time. Well, I, I call Chucky, obviously. I have to be Chucky. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Sly Cooper's going well. Sly Cooper's going well. But that would be an epic stream. That'd be one for the ages, I think. All I know about that game is seeing it and like... Those really weird like top 10 videos that, like didn't have any narration, just like some ominous music. And it would be like top 10 worst games ever made, and I'd always see that one on there. <laughs> I do be getting health back. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go down there yet. I wanted to shoot. I'm fucking dead! Okay, don't die this time. That's kind of cringe. So, okay, noted. Those guys do big damage. Be very careful around them. Hello, everyone. I'm Chuck E, and we're going to sing a song. Why does Daffy sound like that? He's voiced by Rob Paulson in this game. Yeah, it's so funny how much they have to, like, space apart the Nintendo 64 NSO releases. It could be worse, though. Your nickname could be Willy. Anyone who calls me Willy immediately gets the guillotine. This is literally, like, blatantly Rayman. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't think DK64 is on there yet. It's like all related to the old Italian comic, I think. I need to drink water. Hold on. My, my mouth is like dry. I still haven't changed the uh, hydration check from Sonic, and I don't know if I will. I think it's really funny if Roger Craig Smith just tells me to Mr. drink water. Streamer, it's time to drink some water. Hydro homies, rise up! Oh yeah, you weren't there for the Sonic Forces stream, Rick. Um, I generated a bunch of like AI, like messages from Roger Craig Smith for the stream. I have here. I'll play. I'll play a couple for you. Mr. Streamer, can we play Puppy Play Dumb instead? Wait, Streamer, why aren't you playing Battle of Sonic Forces? Why are you playing with classic Sonic Improvement Mod? Am I not good enough for you? I'm literally shaking and crying. <laughs> Twitch chat, stop booing the streamer. He's funny and awesome and the funniest Twitch streamer, and you should subscribe to him right now. <laughs> Mr. Streamer, this game isn't that hard. I'm 12 years old and I have beaten it twice. End of an epic fail. <laughs> hey guys, here I am, Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Don't forget to subscribe to the real Yoko on Twitch so you can get the NFT emote. He is my favorite streamer, and if you don't watch him, then I trust Eggman more than I trust you. Happy fifth birthday to the Rock and I'll go to peak fiction that is Sonic Forces. The infinite sweep is real. <laughs> hey guys, did you know if you have Amazon Prime, you have a free Prime sub on Twitch, which you can use to give the real Yoko more money? I just thought you should know how, how I'm definitely not being held at gunpoint to say this. See, momentum and Z physics are simply not what Z used to be. <laughs> that one is really good. Bro, you are kind of bad at this game. Can you give the controller to me instead? 
Oh, I'm trying to find the best one. Wait, streamer, why aren't you playing Vanillas? Hey, guys, excuse me, streamer, but do you play Bed Wars or Bloxburg? No? F you. Okay. <laughs> no? F you. <laughs> I think the Bloxburg and Bed Wars bit is like one of the first like ongoing the real Yokow stream bits. It's so fucking funny, like it's literally just like some 12 year old came into my chat. <laughs> oh shit, I'm being killed! Yeah, one time I was playing Roblox and uh, someone came into the chat, followed me, and then said hi, and I said hi. They they asked if I played Bloxburg or Bed Wars, and I said no, and they just said F you. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you're 12 years old, so I'm, pro I'm going to bed you because you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> There's also uh, someone who came into the chat during my Five Nights at Freddy's stream. I said the game was scary, and they were like, no, it's not scary, I'm 12, but I've beaten it, like, two times, and I'm like, um... <laughs> you're not supposed to be here! It says 16 plus in my title. I always put 16 plus in my title if I'm doing, like, Roblox or, like, really anything, like, kid-oriented. I, I just don't want, like, kids to hear me saying fucked up shit. You know? I know they're probably gonna hear it, like, everywhere else, but I don't want them to hear it from me. Okay, so, Melee does a lot. Yeah, you're supposed to be 13 years old to have an account here. Okay. We gotta be smarter about this guy. I make my finest jokes on Twitch, I don't know what you're talking about. I still can't believe how many fucking people tuned in for the Sonic Forces stream. That was literally like 20 viewers consistently. <laughs> it was so funny. There need to be war websites for kids so they stop coming here. If only Club Penguin still existed. Yeah, that Sonic Forces stream kind of was peak. I thought that was going to be like the most self-indulgent stream of all time, but then a bunch of people showed up for it. <laughs> yeah, that triple boost was insane. Like, I, I was literally like two seconds away. Alright, Rob Paulson. Frontier sucks because you can't triple boost. That's honestly factually correct. Honestly, Frontier's kind of mid compared to Forces. Infinite clears, Sage. I hope someone takes me seriously. This game is like Rayman 2 and Crash Bandicoot giving birth to the Patrick levels from the creature of the Krusty Krab. This is, this is going on. Wait, it's, it's in the fucking... It's, not, it's in the... Hold on, I need to make it... Like, I need to put it, like, here. That's good. 
But I feel like that deserves to be on screen. When will I play Creature of the Krusty Krab? I don't know. Holy shit, the jump scare! Put that over important HUD elements? Well, if you insist. <laughs> you guys can no longer see how many tokens I have. Hello? Hi! <laughs> Adam! Fake PNG of Donald Duck? Okay. I mean, you're the one who gave me a bunch of subs. You gave me three gifted subs, so sure. Donald Duck PNG. Free. <laughs> That's how you get the worst PNGs. You type PNG free. That's not the right one? Cope. Let me see if I can find the shaded one. As a fake PNG. No, oh, this is too much fucking effort. This is fine. This is fine. Look at this. This is great. This stream is awesome. The real Yokao stream? Fuck yeah. I remember this fucking part of the level. It made me so mad as a kid and I don't remember why. Put the PNG sideways and make it cover up the amount of hostages rescued. <laughs> I think I think I'll uh, I think I'll keep put a, put a hostage on the screen. Hold on. Before we do, I just I just want everyone to know. Okay, it's on it's on like my BRB screen. So I'm gonna switch here real quick, but I'm not actually going BRB. The fucking like render they use for for PK on here is just an edit of of. The That was the literal first thing that I noticed that made me so fucking happy. It's the fucking- like, it's actually just the same exact pose. <laughs> Fuck, I should've made that my tweet. The real Yokao stream? Fuck yeah, the, that render of uh, PK. There's always next time if I don't- if I don't beat it tonight. Although I have a feeling I will. Most most games I play are pretty short. Hold on, let's see, uh... PK out of the shadows. Hostage. Images. No. I don't see any. I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm not doing it. This is fine. We have enough- we have enough shit on screen, I think. Is it really in the real Yokao stream if I don't, like, derail the entire stream to put a bunch of dumb images over the gameplay? I still think the funniest was the, uh, the, like, voting buttons for <laughs> Minecraft story mode. Hey guys, how many tokens do I have right now? Wow. 
I'm seeing 69, 3, 69. Yeah, I have 6,900,387. 000, I have more tokens than anyone has ever gotten in this game. It's kind of insane. Where? Where? Oh, okay. I had no idea where I was being shot at from. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's so weird. But kind of awesome. Wait. That's kind of sick. As a way of like letting you see through it, uh, type spaces. That's awesome. The art direction for this game is really strong. Did you miss a hostage? No, we haven't gotten any hostages in this area yet. There's one in this room. I can hear them. They sound like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Pooh! All right, that's two hostages. Yippee! <laughs> Why does Donald have a hostages? Oh, you know. What is this game about? I'm a superhero now, and there's like an alien guy race of ducks invading, and I'm I have to kill them and also save all the scientists that they have hostages of. Maybe, dude. I accidentally skipped like most of the opening cutscenes, so I have no idea. Every button on the controller, I think, skips the cutscene. I accidentally pressed right bumper. Sorry, Z. I'm playing on a real GameCube on a real GameCube controller, guys. I promise. Can you call the hostages Jinjos instead? Sure. Jinjo! I've never beaten Banjo-Tooie. Maybe that would be a good stream thing. I have trouble, like, focusing on that game, normally. Boop. You guys want to know some yokao lore? I have no fucking idea how to whistle. I didn't even know how to snap my fingers until I was, like, 13. I beat Banjo-Kazooie for the first time, like, two years ago. Banjo-Kazooie's fun. It's- it's- it's pretty easy to 100%. It has a very reasonable amount of collectibles, and it's especially easy if you're playing on the, uh... the Xbox Live ports, since it saves your note progress. I love rare, like, rare 3D platformers, though. Even if some of them are kinda... kinda weird. Like, DK64 having, like, a billion things. To be fair, it's probably, like, fine if you're just playing it casually, but if you're trying to go for 100%, then, uh... <laughs> fucking rip. <laughs> wow. Ooh, ooh. I hear a hostage up there. I think the only rare game more unhinged than Banjo-Tooie is Conker's Bad Fur Day. Where the fuck are the hostages? Wait, he's in there. Hostage saved. Oh fuck yeah, I should I should have done grab by the ghoulies for Halloween. I'm thinking of so many things that I could have done for Halloween, but I didn't because I forgot they existed. 
Grabbed by the ghoulies would have literally been perfect. So what does this Donald Duck game have hostages? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> um, actually, it's not Donald Duck, it's PK. The descriptor on screen, holy shit. It's not wrong. I was so, like, baffled that I had to put it on screen. And this game is actually kind of fun, though. I sort of expected it to be shit. I don't know why. That's just like how I expect most licensed games to go after Rugrats. I think Rugrats like permanently damaged my trust in video games. Ooh -hoo. So is there levels in this game? I don't, f I have no idea. Because it does feel like we've been on this one level for a very long time. Where? Oh, up here. Fuck. Wait, is there one by hand here? No, there isn't. Oh wait, I'm gonna lose. Chuck's gonna have to send me the WAV file. I got you, bro. Wait. Chat, no! Yes! Saved! With 20 milliseconds to fucking spare! Get fucked, Chuck. Get absolutely boned. I feel like Donald Duck, like, strafing and shooting goes hard as fuck. Like, just, this just looks badass. Um. Do I reach that? I don't? What do you mean? Donald Duck Rift Apart. I still haven't finished that game. I'm glad that studios like Insomniac are proving that you can make like a really good game without having to crunch your team in 2022. I guess 2021. It came out last year, right? Yeah, it was last year. Am I, I, I feel like I'm supposed to go up there. Because that has, like, the thing. Yeah, if we lose the hostages, they go to the mothership. And we don't want that. Help! Dude, I don't think this works. Um, developers? Maybe I need to backtrack for something? What would I be backtracking for? Donald Duck's like power level is insane. He slept on as, like, one of the most powerful fictional characters in the universe, I think. I don't have a double jump. Hmm. 
dumb. I guess I'm backtracking. Maybe I missed something. I don't know. Or maybe the game just doesn't work. Could be either one. I don't think I can actually teleport between areas with this. I think it's just a respawn point. See, the thing is, is, it has, like, the texture that usually denotes, like, a ledge that you're able to grab, but you're not able to grab that one. Like, as... No matter how hard I try. I don't think going backwards is the move here. The camera does not seem to suggest that's a good idea. I think that Donald Duck could solo all the Avengers. Donald Duck clears both Shonen Pro tags. That's literally true. What? Okay, so it really was just a really tight jump. Great, thank you. It's okay, guys. We did it. Okay. Thank god I didn't die there, otherwise it would have been back to the really tough jump. Nice. We got six of the hostages in the, in, of six in that area. I guess there's 40 hostages total in the game. Save successful. I only missed one hostage. Oh my god, we're we're 91% away from the bad rat stream. Yeah, the the art that they do for uh for PK is just the fuck yeah pose except with the PK outfit. It's really funny. <laughs> We're on level 3 of 12. Damn. This shit's got a lot of levels. Run, PK. The frame rate here is, uh... It's struggling a little bit. Game's kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie to you. PK is like Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> Ryan, you were saying so many badass stream, uh, badass things during this stream. Lots of things that go hard as hell. Who's ready for Donald Frontiers? That's just gonna be fire. Dude, I don't wanna grab the ledge. I 
I keep thinking the like brass noise in the background is the Among Us. Two and a half hours to beat. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I can do that easy. Well, I already failed to save one Chuck, so you kind of win. Dude, what the fuck? This guy's got a fucking, like, shield. That guy didn't matter. He liked The Last of Us 2. Are we making head cannons about the hostages now? Great, PK. You found an upgrade for the X Transformer. This will allow you to oh, we can charge, charge our shit now. Should allow you to destroy Eronian shields. But be careful. You will only have the power to use the X charge when your health is high. Otherwise, oh, that's interesting. So I need to keep my health high. Oh god, I can't move when I'm charging it. Okay, that kind of sucks. Uh-oh. It refills your health when you get it. Okay, wait, that, that's not it. The, the platform is about to move. The tunnel duck at the corner keeps fucking me up. I'm good. Donald is so excited for his favorite streamer to play PK out of the shadows. That's why he showed up. It's so fucking awesome how I'm like the favorite streamer of so many fictional characters like Sonic the Hedgehog. Probably Chucky Finster. Definitely Donald Duck. The real Yokawa on Twitch? Fuck yeah. I can't tell if, like, the the frame drops are due to my settings in Dolphin or if the game is just like that. Oh, I have to... Shit, I can't use it. Because I just got hit a bunch. You're not playing on hardware? You think I want to fucking set up like a capture card with a fucking GameCube? I don't have time for that. I mean, I guess I could toss the ISO onto my Wii U and play through that. It's like close enough to real hardware. But I still think that's too much work for PK out of the shadows. <laughs> God, this this enemy is really annoying to fight, actually. Unlike Diddy Wii U, I don't enjoy this. Wow. 
This is just such a funny game to have, like, released in all territories because no one is going to know, like, what the fuck this game is in America. Wait, I, 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 for some reason I was, like, half paying attention because I was reading chat. I didn't realize there was a guy right there. Don't worry, guys. I have a lot of tokens right now. I have the most tokens that anyone has ever had at this point in the game. That doesn't open that? That's fucked up. Oh, okay. They should put PK in Smash. We need more Disney rep after Sora. Dude, I'm so good at this game. Wait, did I take fall damage? Is there fall damage in this game? Am I about to start hating this game a lot? I just want to say Psychonauts 2 is like the best game ever for having a fall damage toggle. I literally just played with fall damage off for like the entire time. Um, dude, this is there's so much shit going on right now. How am I supposed to keep track of all of this? How's like little Timmy gonna keep track of all this? <laughs> Holy shit. This is brutal. He's gonna take this game out of his GameCube and play Fairly Odd Parents instead. I do not like this game. It has fall damage. Fall damage is cringe. Help. Jorgen, stop invading every stream. No, I can't stop. I need to. You guys will think this bit is funny one day! <laughs> recycled bit minus two. No, 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 it's not- it's not a recycled bit, it's continuity. Would you prefer if I bring Crocker back? To talk about how he hates all Sonic games? Sonic Frontiers was not that good. You are just a fan and blind to all of the problems it has. Turner, I'm giving you an F because you like Frontiers. You toad. What, what do I say? In, I can't do Donald Duck. Uh, there's, there's no way I can. <laughs> You are off to your next assignment. What? Already? Hey, don't I even get a coffee break? No rest for the weary. <laughs> I can't hear the dialogue over the plus two. <laughs> I can't do a Donald Duck voice though. I could I could I could only do <laughs> This version of Donald specifically, I haven't heard enough. I mean, I guess it's just Rob Paulson.
Fuck yeah. PK out of the shadows? Fuck yeah. I need to drink water. We're at Area 52? Place for that psycho scientist Zoster to be stirring up trouble. Who is this Zoster? Scientific General Zoster is one of the higher ranking Avonians. I found some traces of him scanning some data in the laboratory. Everything ever made has made an Area 52 joke. Is that a fucking mine? Holy shit, it is. Anything ever made after the before or after this game that makes an Area 52 joke is just copying this game. Like how Cave Story copied Undertale. Oh. Wait, I need to fucking book it. Okay, we got him. God, my depth perception is so fucking bad. <laughs> Die, bitch. This music is too good. What the hell is going on with this game? It's kind of awesome. It kind of goes hard as fuck. Oh, no way. Is this a grappling hook? Please say grappling hook. What? No, it's a transforming device? Do I become small? Wait, no! It's a fucking RC thing! Wait, this is awesome! This is this really is Sly Cooper. You've got an RC car mini game. You think it will control good? Absolutely not. Okay, it's on rails. That's fine. That could have controlled worse. It was a little stiff, but I'll take stiff over slippery. Like any day of the week. Yeah, basically just the Nikita from GS1. I think that this is the best Rayman game. My problem with the charge ability is I thought it was going to be really cool, like being able to charge up shit and kill enemies in one hit while on the move. But you can't really use it for like that purpose. It feels like you only really have the opportunity to use it as like, oh, kill the guy that has a shield. Especially because it just fucking stops you completely. Feels very situational. Like, you don't have to completely stop me while I'm doing it. Just slow me down. That'd be fine. Yes, I am going to criticize the design of this fucking Rayman Disney game. I've never fully beaten any of the 3D Rayman games. That would actually be a good stream, like, idea, like Rayman 2 and 3. Now that I think of it. 
Oh, I could I could fucking title it huge Rayman fan excited to play it for the first time. I did play Origins and Legends though, so I'm not I'm not a fully I'm not fully a Rayman noob. What the fuck? I'm gonna die. Please tell me that doesn't kill the hostages. I heard about Rayman Redemption. I should try that. You can link Rayman Redemption, that's fine. Okay, the hostages are still there. This set piece is kind of cool, like the bridge. This game is very, 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 very strong art-wise. Like, this hasn't aged a day. Aside from, like, obvious shortcomings of, like, this generation with, like, t some 2D images looking a little bit artifacted. God, that comes back so fast. Well, uh, it's pretty good so far. I have problems with it though, like this shitty charge move sucks ass. that did I get a secret thing Good job, PK. Your X has been reinforced now. oh does it just have more health nice I'm not gonna make it. Okay. Of course, Ubisoft would <laughs> fuck up their own combat system for a Donald Duck game. Absolutely. Wow. Stop giving me these shield enemies. I hate them. They're not fun. Oh my god, there's so many hostages. Okay, got him. There was a DuckTales 2017 game pitch for an April Fool's Day joke? That's cruel. I would have actually played a DuckTales 2017 game. That shit's fire. Also rejected pitch that makes it so much more painful. I'm gonna need to look into that. DuckTales 2017 is like way too good. All 
All right, now we're uh, now we're getting a little funky. Wait, can I shoot the boxes? No, I can't. If any of you in this chat have not watched DuckTales 2017, fix that. It's so good. Oh, I just realized the screen like shows us how many upgrades we have. I want to look at these tweets. I want to look at these tweets and I want to get sad about it. Oh, fuck. I remember this now. I remember seeing this. It looks so good. Oh, my fucking God. I'm so pissed off. It literally looks exactly like the show's art style. Fuck, I'm mad. I'm pissed. Daffy is pissed. Chuck, if you watched DuckTales 2017, you'd be mad. You'd be pissed as fuck. That, that shit is unfairly good. Oh, speaking of unfairly good, this fucking music, goddamn. I didn't miss any hostages, no. Just the guy who liked The Last of Us 2. Is this a new- wait, this is a new shot type, I think. Oh yeah, it totally is. Here's the problem. I don't know what the shot types like do like I think I killed that guy one shot earlier than normal Uh Oh, there's a guy Wow, he's fast! Hey, that's not his speed, he's using the Chaos Emerald to warp! What the fuck was that?! Why did a whole ass truck just fall, like, fall on me? What the fuck? I don't want to aim at that guy. I want to aim at this guy. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, PK heads. It's over. No, I'm good. I want that token. Give it to me. Thanks. I know people say this about a lot of games, but I genuinely thought thought it about this. So I thought I was the only person who fucking remembered this game. <laughs> so it's like funny to hear it, I'm not. Cause it's so like unrelated from everything else Disney. And it's like, I thought I was the only one. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I think these I think these shoot farther. Like they are able to travel farther. I think that's the difference. Get that hostage. Get them fries. Why is this music so good? What puts pigs in space on the Atari 2600? Is that real? Jungle Book DDR? What the fuck? Oh, I didn't even realize that was an opening. Dude, why is this music so fucking awesome? I literally feel like a secret agent or some shit. Fuck. Okay, 40 is the amount of Jinjos I need, cool. Yeah, I kind of figured that was the only purpose that the tokens served. I think it's really weird to lock checkpoints behind a, a currency though. Not that it's ever like a problem, it's just kind of a weird mechanic. I don't think there's ever been a, like a point in human history where someone was like, oh no, I'm playing PK and I don't have enough of these tokens that they sprinkle everywhere to use this checkpoint. Dude, stop spawning these guys. I need health. Now, can I make it over here because I shot that box like an idiot? I might have, I might have fucked myself out of those tokens. Yeah, no, I'm, I fucked myself out of those tokens. Oh, well! What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't see that because it was like the same color. See, here's the thing, I have enough tokens for the next checkpoint, but you can't see that because, uh, because <laughs> our good friend Ryan, her message is there. <laughs> PK is standing on the border of everything right now. Do I have to kill every enemy to... Okay, I do have to kill every enemy. Am I missing something? How do I get those tokens? Oh well, I, I'm i fine, probably. I oh. Oh, okay. There's a vent there. A vent from Among Us. Take a shot anytime you're watching of the real Yokao stream, and I see a vent and say it's from Among Us. You will actually die of alcohol poisoning, I think. Now this is really a Crash Bandicoot section right here. 
Like, I already feel like this game is designed very similarly to that. But that is just straight up Crash Bandicoot level design. <laughs> Alright, that's all the hostages in this level. Sorry, the Jinjos. If I have to listen to Rob Paulson Donald Duck one more time. What, you don't like Rob Paulson Donald Duck? Does anyone else think it's really funny that Rob Paulson voices uh, Gray Fox in the remake of Metal Gear Solid and also in Smash Brothers? So we have Carl Weezer voicing Gray Fox. All right, I need to drink some water. Mr. Streamer is trying to drink some water. Rob Paulson is ungodly talented. I love that guy. Gray Fox is my favorite Ninja Turtle. <laughs> I think it I think they recycled his voice lines, yeah. I'm so sad that we didn't get any more Snake Codex. I don't recognize that composer. It's also really funny going to some of the older, like, Codex, like, pits where they call, uh, Skyworld Angel Land because they hadn't, like, sorted out the localization for that yet. Because Kid Icarus Uprising wasn't a thing. To get those little weird, like, inconsistencies with the more obscure franchises. Free Summer is fucking amazing as Medusa. She sounds so threatening. God, that game is so good. I wish we'd just get a remake already. God, this environmental design is really fucking awesome, I just want to say. Like, just look at all of this. Like, the light coming from here, and like, all the tech. God damn, this is so cool looking. <laughs> oh, it's a shield guy. Great, my favorite enemy. Right as I was praising the game too, you throw the, like, actual most boring thing of all time at me. At least I killed him faster because those bullets seems like they kill a little faster. If Kid Icarus Uprising gets a remake, it, Sakurai's not going to be involved, I think, which is, gonna, which is sad, but... Uh, what, what can you do, you know? Speaking of Sakurai, though, I hope that whatever, like... Smash game happens next because you know they're not going to stop making Smash games. They overhaul the fuck out of Sonic's moveset. There's so much they could do with like the stuff from Frontiers now. Yeah, overhaul the fuck out of everyone, but especially Sonic. Sonic is like the most fumbled bag in Super Smash Brothers, I think. 
And it's absolutely 100% because... I'm gonna be honest, I really don't think Sakurai cares for Sonic, like, as a franchise. After having to play Sonic 06 and Sonic and the Secret Rings for Brawl. Like, inspiration for Sonic's moveset. <laughs> it's like, no fucking wonder Sonic sucks. <laughs> Although he did say that he liked Frontiers and he was buying it day one, so... Oh, this is really tight. Okay. Sakurai liking Frontiers will determine everything about Smash 6. Oh yeah, absolutely. We're gonna get like so many new Sonic remixes. We're gonna get like, we're gonna get a cyberspace stage. We're gonna get multiple Sonic characters. We're gonna get Sonic Codex with Tails and like Sage will come appear in one of them. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, guys. It'll happen. It'll happen. I tell. I promise you. What is happening here? Okay, there we go. IGN gave this game a four. That's like fair. I think it's like fine, but it's not really for like a licensed game. It's good, but like compared to other games, it's kind of like eh. I think four is like a fair score to give it. The, like, number one reason why I think that, uh... Why it's obvious to me that Sonic... Like, Sakurai of the team does not really care about Sonic is, like... There's still only one Sonic remix. In the entirety of Super Smash Brothers, And it's the one from Brawl. Made by Jun Sanoe. There has not been a single other Smash remix. Even though they had Tomoya Otani to do a Splatoon soundtrack, like a Splatoon track. Also, this is incredibly nitpicky, but I hate how Knuckles does a homing attack in his assist trophy. It pisses me off so fucking bad. It makes me so bad. <laughs> That's like the one thing that that Sonic does that he doesn't do. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Like, I know that's a really stupid, like, nitpicky thing to get mad about, but it, it pisses me off. And that's why Smash Brothers sucks and Sakurai doesn't care about his games. It's the Sakurai bias, I'm telling you. Knuckles used a homing attack in one game? What game? Sonic Heroes? That doesn't fucking count. He only does it so the AI doesn't fall behind. Sakurai does have personal biases, but it's okay, because the biases he has are based. Except for not really doing anything with Modern Kirby. I think that's cringe, because there's a lot of cool stuff in Modern Kirby. That's like his one cringe bias. Well, obviously, besides his bias against Sonic, which definitely exists and is not just me coping. Oh, you would did you are not fucking throwing two shield enemies at me right now. Holy shit, I am Alright guys, it's time to no longer have any fun. Oh, I'm out of health. Cool. Great. Good. Great. Just kill me. Honestly, just kill me. Put me out of my misery. It's like the most genuinely bad I've gotten at a game like ever, I think. <laughs> I hate the shield enemies so much. They serve no gameplay purpose except you must slow down and hold this button for a while.
All right, time for the no fun zone. Okay, we've almost killed him. Thank God I didn't get hit again. I was gonna fucking scream. Yeah, I I fucking ate this 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 like Smash Brothers cycle. I think I already talked about it a couple streams ago, but like Banjo, Joker, Minecraft, Steve, King K. Rule. I think the only way I could have, like, reasonably won more in, in terms of, like, Smash is if they did added some really fucking dumb shit that they're never gonna add, like Waluigi or, like, Raz. I don't think Raz would ever have a chance, but that would be the most awesomest thing and the most, like, beautiful thing for me specifically of all time. If they added Bart Simpson, I would have ate. True. Oh, I was gonna say, don't fucking make these shield enemies. I jinxed it in my head. I think Smash Ultimate had a good balance of, like, focusing on both Nintendo and third parties. All right, we got the Jinjos. It's fucked up that Scooby isn't in multiverses yet. Okay, where's the thing I'm supposed to shoot? Um. Hello? Oh. There's a vent here. Poser sus. I need to do an Among Us stream one day. Like a VR chat Among Us one. You're trying to play Parappa the Rapper 2 while watching this? That sounds like a nightmare with like all the sound effects this game throws at you.
All right, this is the last of the Jinjos in this level. Okay, we only need to rescue one more Jinjo. Uh, before I continue, I am going to let my dogs out real quick because it's been a little bit and I don't want them to pee in the house. So I will be right back.
Okay, hi. Sorry, I'm back. My doggies have done their business. I need to take my freaking meds because it's time to do that. Disney platform fighting game where Donald and PK are separate like Cole and Evil Cole. I love PlayStation All-Stars. That game is like... That's like a so bad it's good game for me. Like, it's not even bad like from like a polish standpoint. It does a lot of cool things. But I just don't think the gameplay loop is, like, good. I wish it had more, uh, more time and more budget, because clearly the people working on it gave a fuck about it. Like, they gave a lot of fucks. Wait, they just made PlayStation All-Stars canon? What do you mean? I'm pretty sure they took the online down, like, recently. It's also kind of a bitch to, uh, stream and record PS3 games, so you need to get, like, an HDMI splitter and shit. I have, like, a capture card and stuff, I just- I've never done, like, co like console streams in a while.
I should try and think of some games I could, like, stream from consoles. It's referenced in God of War Ragnarok? That's awesome. It's because, uh, the PS3 has, like, a copy protection thing that works, like, on the HDMI level because they didn't want people recording their Blu-rays. Be careful. My scanners indicate a large source of energy coming from the other side of this door. <laughs> coming from the other side of this door. The PS4 has the same thing, but you can toggle it off. It just makes it so you can't watch like Netflix or play movies and shit when you have it on. Oh shit. Evil guy. Well, we seem to have an Earthling, <laughs> pretending to be some sort of superhero. <laughs> How dare an insect like you try to stop the Evrodian Empire? I want to kill this guy. You cannot stop the inevitable. Surrender! Now! I want to kill this guy so bad. I'll surrender when your ugly face makes contact with this uh, ugly floor. Got him! Good job, PK. Okay, it doesn't seem to do anything yet. Wait, do I have to make him hit the wires? Okay, no, that would be probably way too inspired. Maybe I'm just missing? Don't tell me I have to fucking charge. I bet I have to do a charge. Yep! Okay, at least it gives me more health. Oh shit. I mean, this boss fight's pretty cool, actually. This is a lot cooler than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> what are those noises? <laughs> is he crying? You gonna cry? You gonna piss your pants? Cry about it, plus ratio. Ratioed by PK. y'all enjoy some sea salt ice cream i've made i've made sea salt ice cream before it's actually fucking awesome god i want sea salt ice cream so bad also welcome to the stream I love when PK said it's PKing time and PK'd all over the bad guys. Okay, he's dead. He so fucking you kicked him. Crawl back to the corner of the galaxy you came from and tell the rest of your Avronian friends that Earth isn't for invading and look at me. Thank you. 
This guy just sounds like Yakko. <laughs> like, I know that it's the same voice actor, but like, his the voice he's doing just sounds like a more serious Yakko. <laughs> Thinking about how sea salt ice cream was in DuckTales 2017 and made Kingdom Hearts canon. I can buy Kingdom Hearts being canon to like everything. I remember Rob Paulson as a uh, Carl Weezer mostly. And Gray Fox, that's one of my, like, favorite things ever. Yeah, 2017 Launchpad was a, a summon in the mobile game, I think. Okay, this has to be a grappling hook, right? Like, there's no way it's not. But where do I get it? It's funny how whenever there's like a thing that you don't have the item for yet, it, it just makes, it makes Pika go, huh? And then puts like, a question mark over him. Go back to that room, what are you talking about? Also no backseating, fucker. I'll sue you. Yeah, you can uh, you can link that. Thank you for asking. What are you talking about this? How am I supposed to see that there's a platform down here? I thought this was just like death. Because all you can see when you're up here is the, the pink goop. See? Like, I guess you can sort of see the doorway, but also I can't... The angle isn't good enough for me to tell if that's an actual doorway. Can I link my PayPal and Patreon? Yeah, go for it. Classes issue? What the fuck are you talking about, Chuck? I'm gonna ban you. I'm gonna ruin the 69 bans. Oh, right. Yep. It is. It is a grappling hook. Hey, everyone, go subscribe to Ryan's podcast Patreon so we can get more Roblox games. You gotta extend the Roblox stream. Does every 2000th platform have a grapple move? Because grappling hooks are fucking awesome and they should be in every game. Sorry, I didn't see those mines. Any game that has a grappling hook is objectively better than another game that doesn't have one. Bradley Baker voiced Daffy for a little bit? That doesn't sound like a, a role that he would particularly exceed in. I think those are what they call Ethronian surfers. Watch your head when facing this enemy. You guys might kill me for this, but whenever I think of D. Bradley Baker, <laughs> My first thought 
is Ruben from Minecraft Story Mode. <laughs> I'm gonna be like 100% real with you guys. Why is that your first thought? Because when I played Minecraft Story Mode, that was when I started, like... I was, like, 14 or 15, and I was just starting to realize, like, oh, voice actors happen to, like, be in a lot of different things. And I looked at the cast list, and I saw D. Bradley Baker's room, and I was like, he sure did a good job making those pig noises. And now I just, I just permanently associate D. Bradley Baker with Ruben. Okay, wait, these shield enemies are actually easy as fuck. I've been overthinking it this whole time. I just platform in a way that he misses. It's that easy. Oh, let me see this tweet. This tweet is awesome. <laughs> I'm retweeting that. But yeah, I will never I will never break the association of Ruben and D Bradley Baker. I think for the next Minecraft story mode stream I'm just going to use Twitch polls cuz uh I think click maps are, like, funny, but also, I don't want people to, like, hurt their wrists trying to click a lot for Minecraft story mode. I still don't even know if I'm going to stream more of that game, because it's kind of really boring. <laughs> How will we click on Ruben's face? I'll, I'll, t I'll keep it on exclusively for clicking on people's faces, because that's the best bit. That's what made that stream funny. Dude, I'm getting kind of cracked at this game, I'm not gonna lie. I might be the best DK out of the Shadows gamer. Why are they fucking respawning so much? See, the thing is, I want to, like, play the rest of Minecraft Story Mode, because there's a bunch of episodes that I haven't played, and I haven't played, uh... I haven't played Chapter 2, or whatever the fuck, Season 2. But, like, I can't just stream only those episodes with no context. That's, like, sacrilegious for any Telltale game. Don't you mean quacked? True, I'm quacked at this game. I'm going quackers. Because Donald Duck is badass, and Italians just understand that. Oh my god, I don't have enough health for the fucking stupid-ass charge move. I hate this shit. Okay, no, Chuck, I'm actually gonna fight you on this. You think Donald Duck is not badass? He, like, fucking kills anything ever whenever he's angry about anything. In any media he's in. He is like a fucking rage demon. If you piss off Donald Duck, you're just dead.
Donald Duck is like the epitome of accidental badass character. Yeah, DuckTales 2017 Donald Duck is briefly voiced by Don fucking Cheadle. Is it Cheadle or Cheadle? I don't know. I don't know actor names. I always just said Cheadle. But that's the problem, it's not only in 2017. It's in all iterations of Donald Duck. Oh great, I took a little bit too much damage and now I can't do my funny charge move. That mechanic sucks so much balls. Not even because the shield enemies are annoying. I like learned how to deal with them. It's just having to have like a certain threshold of health in order to use it and then like having no health pickups anywhere whenever you're supposed to fight one of them. So you're just fucked and have to kill yourself. Donald is probably my favorite, like, Disney character of the, like, core Disney cast. Goofy's a close second, though. By core cast, I mean, like, Mickey, Donald, Goofy, Minnie, Pluto. Of the mascots, I should say. If we're talking, like, all Disney characters, Scrooge McDuck clears. I'm glad that they started doing shit with the, like, core Disney, like, mascot cast. Dude, I'm so bad! Why am I so bad? Like, it felt like for the longest time they are just, like, mascots made to promote, like, Disneyland, but now they actually make shorts and shit of them. And they're, like, really good shorts. They should put Powerline in Kingdom Hearts 4, I can agree on that. Dude. Help. I think I've fucked it. By getting clipped on that thing very slightly. Nice! Yeah, that mechanic is fucking weird. This game's got some goofy shit, and I don't mean like goofy as in the character, I mean goofy as in it sucks. Unlike the character Goofy, who goes hard as fuck.
you can really tell that this is just like Rayman. <laughs> Hey, whoa, hey! The Jinjos. Okay, we've rescued all the Jinjos here. It's always funny to me going to Disneyland and seeing, like, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit merchandise. Because I just permanently associate that with the epic Mickey, rather than, like, actually just Oswald. <laughs> Watch your step and be this is a sneaking mission now? Remember, PK, this is a sneaking mission. Minefield. Weapons and equipment OSP. The lighting in this place is cool. One game, one thing about this game that I will never dog is like the art direction. This is fucking awesome. This music is really good too. God damn, this place is pretty. What? What? Help! Okay, thank you for wasting so many of my seconds. It was automatically turning me, just so we're clear. Jesus fucking Christ, this is gonna be so close. No! Oh. I know like all of the Sonic mandates off the top of my head. Although some of them are, the status quo on a lot of them is changing after Frontiers. Missiles? You're giving me missiles? Am I doing this correctly? I appear to be. The meat walled secrets revealed? Uh, I've tried to remember what the meat walled secrets were, secrets were. It's been, I'm gonna be real, like everything that happened for the past like week or two that didn't have to do with Sonic Frontiers is like a blur for me now. I named me Walt the Shitty Rabbit after Oswald, yeah. I, I figured. Mm -hmm. 
I love Meatwall, the shitty rabbit. He's such an he's such an awesome character. I hope they bring him back in the next Sonic game. His presence was sorely missed in Sonic Frontiers. Unless you like played the game on hard and you got the entire like fight with him. Oh shit, I shouldn't have said that. That spoiled it. Sorry guys. Okay, I'm dead. Hold on, I think my dog needs her meds. She's uh, she appears to be having some. She has like back issues, and she needs meds like as needed. And she is yelping, so I am going to take care of that real quick, and hopefully she will feel better. I will be right back. I'll just leave this leave it on this screen because this music goes kind of fucking hard. Okay, hello everyone. Sorry for the uh, being away for like 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, dogs are doing better. Um, Millie's a little bit less freaked out and her meds I think are starting to like actually work. She's able to like walk around a little bit without getting really freaked out. But um, I'll probably just cut that out of the VOD because I don't want people to, to like skip through all of that. But, uh, we're back! PK Chads have the power of patience. That's true. And I did promise that I would put a picture of Millie on screen. So let me... Let me get... Let me go through my phone. I, I take... I take so many fucking pictures of this dog. She's technically... I tell the story every time. She's technically not my dog. She's my sister's dog. But she stays here all the time since my sister is, like, working and has a baby. So... She's... Ban in-game action unpausing for five minutes? Okay, sure. <laughs> but, uh... Millie is over so often that she's, like, bonded with me, like, way more than she has, like, <laughs> my sister or her, my brother-in-law. <laughs> so she's, like, in essence, become my dog. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good image. Hold on. I'm so, I'm, I have to send it to myself. Like, email it. They don't have anything set up to actually share images to my computer. But yeah, thank you everyone for your patience and understanding. I super turbo appreciate it. The fact I'm still at like 11 viewers, <laughs> even though I was gone for like 30 minutes is really funny. <laughs> Hi Torin, welcome. Hold on, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting dog, dog on screen. Just playing Frontiers just a second ago, let's go. How are you liking the game? Okay, there's gonna be two Daffies for a second. But the Daffy is about to be replaced with a dog. I was playing VR one night and I got out of VR and she has like three, there's like three or four blankets on my bed. But she's using my jacket as a blanket instead. Like it like melted my heart. <laughs> Just call him Daffy. Yeah, he's Daffy. That's Daffy motherfucking duck. Okay. And with this, we have the dog on screen. We have Daffy. We have Ryan's awesome comment. I still have three minutes until I'm allowed to unpause. <laughs> <laughs> I 
How's everyone doing today? <laughs> Mr. Streamer, it's time to drink some water. Oh, that's I'm actually true as fuck. Hello. Hi. I love water. Okay, I'm just gonna unpause even though I'm technically not supposed to because this is the, the, I think the bit, the bit might have run its course. Oh god, I like paused right in the middle of gameplay, didn't I? Frontiers is so good. I didn't even realize how much I, like, missed that style, like, Sonic game in terms of, like, tone. Well, I, I realized how much I missed it, but, like, not the extent of how much I missed it until we got Frontiers, and it was like, oh, Sonic is fucking back. Like, it genuinely feels... I've, I've like... I have this sentiment about it. It's like, it feels like if it was going for like a similar tone to like Sonic 06, but if Sonic 06 was actually written well. Obviously plot wise are both very different, but like I feel like the tone and like the general like darkness of it is very similar. Obviously no spoilers. I'm not spoiling shit about that game. Taking your time with the game is the best way to do it. It's so funny to me that the first island alone is like the entire length of Sonic Forces. I think I have about like 30 hours in the game now after 100%ing it and getting all the cyberspace challenges done. Which is awesome for a Sonic game in terms of length. And it's like... My thing about it, too, is it, like, feels like it's a lot more genuine, like, length and gameplay content than something like Heroes, where it's like, oh, play the same stages four times, and, or, like, Unleash is like, oh, you have an entire different gameplay style, and also you need to grind for these stupid medals. It's like every moment of Frontiers I felt, like, genuinely engaged. Which is not something I could say for Sonic games that long. <laughs> I see you. But yeah, um, objectively speaking, Sonic Frontiers probably, like, floats around the 7 to 8 out of 10 range, but for me, I, in my heart, it's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> this looks like it could be the most dangerous of Erlian yet, PK. Be careful, he has an extremely powerful weapon. Jesus Christ. This dude's gotta chill. Alright, what's the what's the move here? Can I Okay, well I can't grab onto those ledges. Um Oh I forgot there's a grappling hook mechanic. Because this is a like mid 2000s 3D platformer for the GameCube. The thing about hard mode in Sonic games is that it basically just means normal mode in terms of like other games difficulty curves. Like Sonic Forces had a hard mode and I genuinely don't know like what it changes even. <laughs> because I always just play on hard mode because it's like it's too easy otherwise probably. I'm 
Danny, what are you doing? Hold on. My my dogs are being funky. They're all they're all discombobulated after the after stuff happening. Danny. Good. He's just finding a a comfy spot to lay down in. I need to like look up what hard mode does and forces. I figure for frontiers it's like you take less damage and do more damage. The coolest five out of seven you've ever played. That's understandable. There was a tweet that I that like really resonates with me, and it's like us. A 7 out of 10 game that you really love is better than any 10 out of 10 game. I was like, that's so fucking true. For my second playthrough, I'm definitely gonna stream it, and I think I'm gonna do a... Like a... Low stats run. Like, I'm not gonna level up any of my stats. This guy do be standing here. Yeah, Sonic Frontiers was absolutely made better by the fact that it was not embarrassed at all about being a Sonic game. And that's like the first Sonic game I could say was like that since, um, God, maybe Unleashed. I liked like some of the writing, like I liked Colors' writing, like I thought it was fine. It was, it was self, it was like self-referential and like, I don't want to say corny, but like, you know, it was, it was silly. And I was like, that's fine for maybe like one game, but like. Having it be the status quo for every game and also never, like, doing anything with the aspects of Sonic storytelling that people liked. And then they tried to be serious with Sonic Lost World and the, like, contrast was just so bad between the, like, corny jokes and, like... Corny jokes that tried to be, like, try-hard edgy almost. Like, even more try-hard edgy than any of the Adventure Era games. Like, Zavok talking about how he's gonna, like, slaughter Sonic mercilessly, or like Zaz being like, you're going home in a box! I'm just happy that Sonic is like, allowed to be Sonic again. I somehow completely forgot about the Eggman strength. <laughs> If I if my hand, if I can still strangle a Zeddy, my hands are fine. They probably thought that line went so hard is the really sad part. They probably thought they were writing like bars there. Oh, those guys are dead. Sorry, Chuck. I think perhaps my favorite thing about Sonic Lost World is Knuckles is genuinely has no reason to be there. He's just there. Is this a clock? What is going on here? Like, Knuckles is kind of just there. He's there, he dies, and then he comes back to life when the, like, world gets... It's energy back, and he's like, I could have handled it. It's funny, because Frontiers does, like, a joke similar to that with Knuckles, but, like, it's actually, like, funny and endearing, because it's, like... You, you can tell he's saying it in a very, like, teasing way, rather than, like, just sound, kind of sounding like a douchebag. <laughs>
Wait, shit. I thought there was a grapple hook area there. I will always be like a cringe Son Amy fan in my heart because that was like my entire like lifeblood when I was 12 years old. But I cannot fucking deny how gay Sonic and Knuckles were and how fucking awesome that was. That was like the most glorious thing I've seen in my life. Their dynamic was perfect. They literally had like the funniest dynamic ever. And like the facial expressions too, like Sonic constantly giving those like shit-eating grins to Knuckles. God, I love it so much. I'm so glad they have Ian Flynn to, like, characterize the characters. <laughs> that's a funny fucking sentence to say, characterize the characters, but it's like, <laughs> that's where we are with Sonic. They weren't, like, characters for a while. Am I- how the fuck am I supposed to do this? Am I missing something? Maybe I'm talking too much about Sonic and I'm getting too, like, immersed in that instead of focusing on the game. I'm, I'm obviously also gonna be- I'm gonna be vague here, because I don't want to spoil anything. But, Sonic Frontiers feels like it's genuinely the first game since, like, pre-Sonic 06, where I feel like the overall, like, status quo of the series was actually meaningfully changed by the ending. And that's- that's cool as- that's cool as shit. Like, this stuff matters now in lore. It's, it doesn't just reset every time. It's not anything, like, earth-shattering, but they, like... Just, like, you'll see what I mean. Like... It's not like they have, like, the most impressive reveal of all time about, like, something that's gonna happen in the next game, but it's, like... It feels like there's actual, like, genuine, like... Build-up to, like, other things from other games, rather than just being like... Yep, we saved the day, let's, uh... Do fucking nothing else now. Right? The music is fucking awesome! I think it's great that there's a Sonic lore committee. Above all else, that shows, like, a commitment to Sonic that, like, I would have never expected. <laughs> Like, yeah, we care enough about the Sonic lore that we have a panel of people who are very knowledgeable about the Sonic lore to help us sort it out and, like, keep it consistent across all games. Not even just Sonic Team games, but, like, spin-off games, too. Like, damn, that's cool as hell! It is- it is a very funny concept. Like, that is absolutely- it's- it feels like just like Sonic Frontiers in a way, where it's like... Fans will see it and like, pop the fuck off, but then other people will laugh at it and be like, Does Sonic really need a lore committee? <laughs> Anyone who actually cares about Sonic will be like, yes! Yes! That- that they- it does need a lore committee! But everyone else will just think it's an inherently funny idea. Not that it isn't, but like, you know what I mean? They'll think it's like, ridiculous that- that it's even like, a thing. We'll think it's funny in an affectionate way, but other people might think it's funny in a cringe way, is what I'm trying to say.
Yeah, um, they did the, like, writing and characterization and script in English first, because Ian Flynn wrote it, and then apparently, uh, Morio Kishimoto himself translated it to match, like, the tone of Japanese Sonic, which... Um, my dude, you're busy directing the fucking game? I don't think you have time to do this? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on one second. Doing okay? Okay. I'm happy to report that Millie is doing okay. She... Hi, Millie. She's now comfy in a blanket on my bed. She's no longer in pain, seemingly. She doesn't seem like she's shaking. Millie. Hey, baby. Smells fucking weird in my room. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so mad if my dog like shat in my room when he was looking around here. Hold on. Oh that dude better not shit in my room. Hey good news guys, there's no dog shit. Don't worry, it's, it's all good. There's no dog shit in my room. <laughs> I wouldn't have I wouldn't have even been bad. I would just been like, damn, this is a really this is a really off night for the dogs, isn't it? She's settling down. Looks like she's still in a little bit of pain, but like nowhere near as bad. The dog raid stream. Yeah, basically. Oh, they. I fucking hate the shield enemy. Stop giving me these. I just wasted all of my ammo on this guy. I remember this game being super hard when I was a kid, but I'm just realizing I'm just fucking bad at games. Or was bad at games when I was a little kid. There goes another hostage. Kill issue. Ratio. I have enough hostages to beat the game, so I don't really care. Where the fuck am I going? This has like been the most sure I've ever been in like the future of Sonic though. Which is like insane. Like obviously Mania was super good. But like since it wasn't a Sonic game, like or it was a so it wasn't like a Sonic team game, I didn't get like the same sense of relief over it being good that I get from like Frontiers. I just think Frontiers is like a little bit of a miracle game. I've seen like most of the people who are like very unsure about it. Like everyone I saw that was like, oh, this looks like shit when they did like the IGN videos and was like unsure about it for the like rest of the hype cycle. Ended up being like, this is the best Sonic game I've played in so long. And it's sort of funny. I wasn't expecting that from Frontiers. I was expecting maybe like me and the, a few other people to think the game went hard. I was always a believer. Oh, this is tough. This is tough platforming. What the fuck? This is so strict. Oh, 
Hello? Can I, like, grab this ledge, please? Guys, I think the ledge grab mechanic might be dog shit, but I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit. What? I broke it. Why am I having an easier time grabbing onto the <laughs> handrails? Hello? I had a very, I think I had a very like balanced take on uh, the IGN gameplay reveal. I was sort of always like, this doesn't look like it's a good representation of the game because it doesn't show much of the actual core gameplay loop. It just sort of like shows Sonic running around and like basically nothing else. So I thought it was like a huge nothing burger to like judge the game based off of just what we saw. Cause it's like one very small aspect of a very like a much larger game according to like what we have heard about it in the past. Like we didn't see really any of the combat. We didn't see any of the like cyberspace levels at that point. It was literally just like a guy running around and looking at the graphics. I was like, yeah, uh, I don't think this is enough to judge the game yet. But then I saw all the other Sonic fans that were like, we need to, del we need to get the game delayed because it doesn't have a physics-based momentum or whatever. I think the funny thing about uh, Sonic Frontiers is that the engine that they use, like Hedgehog Engine 2, they have like parameters for like physics based, like momentum based stuff in the game. Yeah, Donald's doing great, thank you for asking. But it's like they don't use it because the game isn't designed for it. There's already mods out there to add it and it sort of like breaks a lot of the, the shit in the game. Like it's just clearly not the focus of the game. Like, it would definitely be cool to have a 3D Sonic game that has more of an emphasis on momentum, but I don't think it's necessarily bad that Frontiers doesn't have that. Because it wasn't, like, the design goal. But I, I, I think I'm mostly just bothered by, like, the narrative of, like, Sonic Team doesn't know how to code momentum-based platforming. And I think it's really fucking funny that that was completely, and like utterly just demolished by the fact that the game is already capable of it and they just don't use it. Holy shit, what's going on with this music though? I do think like a full like a full game designed around, like, a physics engine like that would be cool. Because I do love shit in, like, Sonic Adventure, like, spin dashing off of a slope and getting, like, insane air. By the way, for those who were not here earlier, the <laughs> the Ryan message is covering up an important part of gameplay. Um, you, these tokens, you need to have 15 of them to activate checkpoints. And it's covering the... I, I specifically went out of my way to make it cover, like, the token... Like, the token amount. So you guys will constantly be on the edge of your seat. Because as we know about this game after playing it for, like, three hours, it's really hard to get tokens. And I definitely don't get them, like, all the time, every time.
Yeah, I, I just I don't want to sound like I hate the idea of like a physics engine in a modern Sonic game. It's just like it's not the point of the game. So it bothers me that people like sort of wrote off the game for not being what they wanted. I guess I kind of get that. I don't know. Again, it's mostly just the people who are like calling Sonic Team lazy. I think that's a super lame take. I have a lot of opinions. Most of them are good, I think. Yeah, like, I'm never gonna say Sonic Team is perfect, because they're not. But, you play, like... The, you play the entire, like, first island of Sonic Frontiers and try and tell me that Sonic Team does not care about Sonic. It's, like, impossible. To me, Frontiers just sort of, like, confirmed what I suspected about, like, Sonic games, is that it's not that Sonic Team doesn't want to make, like, good games. It's the fact that they don't have, like, time to make good games, because they have the, like, terrible, like, one to two year dev cycles on all their games, except for Frontiers. But when they have time to make something that they're, like, genuinely really proud of, we get shit like Frontiers, and it's fucking awesome! And it's like full of charm, even if it has some jank. It's full of charm, full of character. Yeah, I think uh, I think Sonic Team is gonna need some more employees. Cause that's another thing is like, I feel like that's a little too small for like a franchise that tries to go ambitious and big with their projects like Sonic. And also just the fact that Sonic is like one of the most popular things ever. <laughs> it's it's just like asinine to me that they don't have more on their team. Like learning all this stuff about Sonic team makes makes games like Forces look less like embarrassing and more just like impressive. Like wow, they made this game somehow. Just yet, PK. We still have one last problem to deal with. Oh. I would love a mania too. I wait till tomorrow. I just discovered the place where all these Erronians are coming from, and it's parked just above us in Earth's orbit. Above us, among us. A huge spaceship, or maybe a warship. I think this is the last level. I would just like to say, I fucking love that Jerba, like, refused to play Among Us for, like, four years. And then Among Us VR came out, and he committed to the sus guy bit, like, so hard. My sensors indicate they're alerted to your presence. We don't have much time, PK. Try to get to the control room of the ship, and watch out for General Zondang. Oh, 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 shh, don't tell me. He's the highest ranking military... What is this, like, Halo-looking architecture? That tells you that he is on board this ship. I just like the idea of Jerma being, like, an Among Us meme. And then refusing to play the game. And then when he finally does, he just leans as hard as he possibly can and commits as hard as he possibly can into that joke. Jerma is like my actual inspiration. Like, I mean that, it, like, without a shred of irony.
It's probably clear in the way that I like handle my streams that I'm very inspired by Druma. You found a stolen outfit, and with its powerful weapon, you will destroy those Eronians like never before. And the most interesting part, you can activate those invisible orbs and the fuck? use them like platforms. But don't stay on them too long. Invisible orbs? If you ever wish to return to your original outfit, just press the change outfit button. I have a new outfit? This outfit sucks. I hate it. I hate this outfit. Fix it. Oh, okay. You okay, Millie? You okay, baby? Yeah, she's having a rough night. Millie? Hold on, let me... I'll be right back. I promise I won't be gone for like a half hour this time. <laughs> I promise. Hi. Millie is seemingly a lot more comfortable now, which that's sort of uh, all I can do in this situation. I gave her a little bit more of her meds because I could give her a little bit more, like it was safe to. She is chilling. <laughs> don't make me, don't make me. You're banning unpausing again. <laughs> You guys really like this song, don't you? <laughs> okay, yeah, she looks a lot more comfortable. She was just sort of laying on a... Laying on... I, I said this, I walked into my room and she was laying in my, like, dirty laundry basket. It was really fucking funny. Uh, but now she's on the bed with the, uh... Now she's on the bed with the heating pad. So... It should- it should help with her back pain. Hi, Millie. You're so sweet. But, uh, I think we're safe to continue for now. Uh, hopefully, I can beat the final boss without having to, uh, disappear again. I have to wait five- I have to wait four more minutes to unpause. <laughs> Yeah, to find all of Millie's memory tokens. Oh, you wait, you should play that. Oh yeah, you did send me that. Even my patience has its limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna start playing PK instead? <laughs> I do be talking. Uh, sorry again for all the interruptions. I, I I know it's like out of my control to a certain degree, but I've never had a I've never had a stream be this interrupted. It's sort of nice to see that the viewer count has like dropped though. <laughs> you guys are PK strongest soldiers, and I appreciate your commitment to the battle at hand. All right, I need to drink water because Sonic told me to while I was gone. Okay, yeah, she's not shaking at all. She's like sleeping. I'm going to like cut out all the nothing from the VOD to benefit the VOD watchers. Because I, I actually do have VOD watchers now. It's fucking weird. Like, uh, hold on. How, what's the what's the Mickey VOD at? Like, obviously, it's not... Obviously, it's, like, not a lot of people yet, because I'm not, like, that big, but, like... On average, it seems like my VODs get, like, 11 views, which is, like, more than... <laughs> oh, no, 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 Mickey is way past 500 now. Mickey has far surpassed that. Oh, it's far surpassed that even from what I was what thinking. Here, hold on. So I'm just gonna like put this on screen.
Here's another Daffy for a second. I looked away and uh, played like Sonic Frontiers for a while and I, I checked the VOD and it looked like this. 4.3 thousand people clicked on this video. Now granted, I doubt like any of them watched the entire thing. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it was just the thumbnail and title that got them to click on it. In conclusion, clickbait works. Oh, I have to look at the analytics right now. Yeah, the average view duration is 7 minutes and 15 seconds on a 4 hour long video. <laughs> And most of that seven minutes is like just the waiting. Like the pre-stream waiting. Fucking awesome. But no, other than that, people like actually, I get like decent, like for my size, I feel I get decent views on my VODs. Like the Forces one has 20. Just went up yesterday. Because I fucking forgot to put it up because I was too busy playing Frontiers. Okay, I can unpause now. I don't have to. I don't have to sit here anymore. I forgot they made him dripless. Why did they do this to my man? Oh my god, that kills them very fast. Okay. I should make a Mickey. Friday Night Funkin' mod. Yo, I just thought of the best FNF mod. Oh yeah, text is still on the screen, thank you. What if it, what if someone made Mickey versus the ghost? FNF mod. That would go so hard. Holy shit, I annihilate people! These guys don't stand a chance. Okay, so I guess they just decide to make me super broken right at the end of the game. I kill those guys in two hits. From what I can tell, this is just a straight upgrade to normal PK. But I can switch to the old one whenever I want for some reason. Yeah, I have no more drip, but I'm super powerful. Like, I think I could beat Goku like this. I'm not gonna lie. They're fucking dead. Dude, I'm killing them so fast. The game's basically playing itself at this point. Oh my god, I pierce shields. This is the best form ever. I don't have I do not have to deal with the shield mechanic any longer. That's a whole entire game mechanic that I no longer need to interface with, and it's the most dog shit mechanic in the entire game. This is like the payoff. Like I tell, I kill the strongest enemies of the game in literally two shots. It took me like ten before. If it was like my normal base weapon. But yeah, as funny as it would be to keep like. 40 minutes of dead air in the VOD. I think I will edit it out. Out of respect for the VOD watchers. Because I was gone a long fucking time. I'm, I'm still very sorry about that.
Yeah, this is probably like super cool in context, but I don't know a single soul who read these comics. So we're just lamenting the lack of drip on this guy. I want those tokens. I can't reach them. Sad. This song's really good, by the way. This soundtrack is crazy. It's always the licensed platformers that have, like, banger soundtracks. Die, bitch. Can I, like, not get these? I'm literally touching them! What the heck? They even, like, have a new mechanic for this guy. With, like, these platforms that he can create by shooting them. so comfy okay i think that heating pad is like making the difference because she looks so fucking comfortable right now it's warming my heart after seeing her like not comfortable at all for the past like hour guys i love i love billy so much she's not even my dog but she's basically my dog <laughs> it's such a funny situation to be in I was talking to my brother-in-law the other day when he was picking up Millie, and he was like, I always get this sad image of Millie hiding under a blanket feeling sad and abandoned whenever, whenever she's, whenever I bring her here. And I'm like, well, she is under a blanket. You are right about that. But usually it's sleeping ha very happily right next to my leg and trying to lick my feet all the time. <laughs> so I, would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't quite say that it's a, uh, I wouldn't quite say it's like that. He does know. He, I think he just feels like a level of guilt for leaving her here a lot. It's like, I get it, but they're busy and Millie gets a lot of attention here, which she needs. They just had a baby, so that's like taking up most of their time. That's, like, that's right, I'm an uncle, which is fucking weird. I'm gonna be the coolest uncle ever. I already am, but... Fuck, I, was, <laughs> I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking, I was looking at chat and I saw it's so hard to hold my- <laughs> I'm blaming you, Eeps. I'm blaming you. Will you raise your child on PK and Rugrats if I'm a bad dad? Yeah. Well, PK is fine, but I wouldn't- I wouldn't- I wouldn't want my worst enemy to play Rugrats Royal Ransom. That shit sucks dog water. It's okay, I get what you mean. I, I'll, I'll be- I would- I would be a bad uncle if I were to force- <laughs> Okay, I won't die this time. I won't get distracted. This is so evil, though. It's like you can barely see that it's just a drop to death here. And that you're supposed to... I think you're supposed to go... Wait, this is backwards! This is fucking backwards. That's why. What? Why is this open now? I'm lost. I'm lost in the sauce. I genuinely just thought that camera angle was evil as fuck. I feel like- Why are these things making like the Mr. Incredible becomes uncanny screams? You know, like that one part, like right before the- 
Right before the backwards green hill zone where it's just like a distant scream. It's like... Aah. Duck Avenger becomes uncanny. Help. Okay, there we go. The platform worked. She is so sleepy. Millie is so sleepy. Oh, this warms my heart. Oh, well, we're at the final boss. Cool. Hi, Millie. Are you so comfortable? Final boss? Fuck yeah. Beat this guy wearing drip? How can this be possible? <laughs> G-Man? <laughs> One measly little person causing so much trouble. Come. Bow before the mighty General Zondag, or feel my wrath. The only thing I'm gonna feel is the ground shake after I knock you out! I'm gonna make sure your face hits the ground nice and, and hard! This guy is fucking terrible at, at his one-liners. I'm, ass I'm assuming that's like a joke from the comics, is that he's really bad at them. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Mechanic. What the fuck? How do I deal with this? Uh, I guess just make him run to the edge. I literally refuse to fight this guy dripless because of these guys. I feel like I'm in Zen right now. Which I don't know if that's a positive or a negative. Oh, fuck. I did it too early, I guess. Dude, Rayman 4 is awesome, but it's kind of weird that Donald's here instead of Rayman. Sorry, I mean PK. like how this new suit looks? Mods ban that guy. This literally sounds like Half-Life music too. What the fuck? I mean, this isn't this isn't really like a bad final boss. At least this is actually pretty cool, like set piece wise and design wise. I've seen worse. It does feel like it's utilizing the mechanics well. Like I need to shoot him a lot to get his guard down, then hit him with a charge shot. This is actually probably the best implementation of the charge shot in the entire game. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs>
Although it's hard to hit him. Oh, I can't even charge shot because I need health. That's right, that mechanic sucks balls, I forgot. I almost forgot that mechanic was fucking dog shit. Good thing I reminded myself. Okay, there's some weird fuck going on here with this, like, this movement. There's, like, invisible walls and shit. I can't get the health because of the invisible walls. Dude, honestly, I'll just kill myself. Nah. We rough it out. I can't necessarily blame th this boss for this mechanic being dog shit, though. It was just dog shit on a like, conceptual level. And I'm all the way back here. Wonderful. I have a feeling that I'm gonna be here for a while. I know how to deal with these guys. I just need to be in position for it. I never expect it. This first phase is easy enough. It's just the second phase with the like really weird like movement mechanic like pushing me back thing. And then I can't get the health because it's pushing me back for some reason. I'll just let him do that. I missed. I think that Disney are cowards for not letting them show Goofy and Donald in uh, the Kingdom Hearts stage in Smash. Yo, but if Kingdom Hearts 4 has a PK world, that would be so hype. I'm excited to see the Star Wars world in that game. I'll finally see a lightsaber keyblade. Nomura? Well, he, he should have let him use Goofy and Donald. I think that PK would be a spacey. Probably like Falco. I didn't want Sora and Smash because it wouldn't fit the lore. What the fuck are you talking about? It's Smash Brothers. I didn't know that. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? It's Super Smash Brothers. I, it's like if Kojima said, I don't watch Snake and Smash because it wouldn't fit the lore. It's like, yeah, I guess, but like... <laughs> I think all the time about how Kojima, like, asked for Snake to be in Smash just because, like, his son loved Smash. And, like, <laughs> was that Snake or was that someone else? I feel like that was Kojima with Snake. I know, I remember hearing like there's a story that he did like an interview where he like asked it as a personal favor to Sakurai to put Snake in. I can't believe you've defeated me. L plus Who ratio plus on PK. Just call me PK. Fantastic work, PK. You've saved the day and have become a true superhero. Now, overload those engines and get out of there. I ain't touching shit. 
You guys want to know what PK stands for? It stands for piece of crap. I knew it. I knew I could be a superhero all along. All I needed was the right equipment. Hey, thanks for giving me a chance. Oh, no problem. Just tell me when you're ready to start your real training. Okay, okay. Can we just rest for a moment, please? I mean, saving the world takes a lot out of you, you know. How about some pizza? Why not? Oh, fuck. I could go for some pizza, dude. Oh, no! Is that what I think it is? Aha, uh -huh, stupid PK. You have to do superhero shit now. I want to know who's responsible for the charge mechanic because I want to flame them on Twitter. There's no, uh, there's no limits on plus two and minus two, but you can only use, uh, hydrate every ten minutes. And you can only use hello once per stream. Oh, unless you mean, like, I can't- yeah, I can't make any more right now. Unless I got rid of Vine Boom or hello, but I feel like those are, like, so powerful. It maxes out at five for, like, the free subscription. Yeah, that is nice. This game wasn't bad. No, it's not even paying Twitch, it's paying sound alerts. Oh, apparently it's not a paid thing. You just have to wait. Because they're working on adding more or something. It just caps at five for now, it's weird. One day I'll have a cheering one, but for now you can just laugh at me. <laughs> oh, yep, they, they shout out Rayman Arena, Arena and Rayman 3 team. Are you booing me? Stop it. Daniel Masson. Wait, this guy is like. This guy has done a lot of shit. What the fuck? Damn, I had no idea. I had no idea that this guy had like a. <laughs> this guy is. <laughs> Damn. He's got like a whole ass, like, huge career. I, I was. When I hear this, I just sort of think like. When I hear, like, licensed game soundtracks, I'm always just like... Yeah, it's probably, like, some obscure guy who just did, like, this game and then fucked off for the rest of time. But no, this guy seems to have, like, a pretty prolific career. <laughs> PK stands for peak. Yeah, he shows up at the beginning. In the opening cutscene. Here, I'm gonna- I'll show the opening cutscene before we go for the night, but... We've- we've beaten PK. It was- it was pretty cool. I honestly was kind of expecting it to be shit, but it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. Rob Paulson has delispified Donald. We actually didn't, like, see the entirety of this cinematic because I accidentally skipped it. Alright. We're experiencing peak now.
<laughs> These cutscenes look so funny. Like, the CG looks so wacky. In, like, a very charming way. Like, that walk cycle. I'm upset every duck in existence doesn't sound like Donald. Huey, Dewey, and Louie do, but they don't sound like that in 2017 because it would be extremely hard to have, like, a serious narrative involving those characters when they sound like that. <laughs> oh, Donald. Wait to control your temper, or I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. What's going on? Don't get mad at me. You're the one with the temper. And another thing. <laughs> After that, I'm gonna put it by Daisy again. <laughs> Get fucked, Donald. I love Donald Duck noises. They go hard. Mr. Donald Duck, please go to the middle of that yellow circle and stand still. What's in the line I won't think. Do it now. And please do not move. The way they justify the voice change for, like, that one episode in 2017 is really funny. He just, like, accidentally swallows the thing that makes him, like, comprehensible. Oops. <laughs> Wrong button. All soldiers ready to leave the mothership. We can launch the invasion now, General. <laughs> Proceed. That goofy episode was high tier. God, DuckTales 2017 was so good. I wish we got more of it. That's not it. Oh, here it is. So you see, you're a superhero now. With a little training. Sensors detected in alien presence. Genesis uh -oh. research lab. Well, <laughs> get ready for some on-the-job training. This is going to be your first mission, PK. Let's get moving. What is a PK? We don't have time for this now. <laughs> 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 anyway, how do you like your cool new voice? Okay, there we go. I like the idea of Donald just talking and that he sounds normal and he's just confused about it. Look over there, PK. Okay. That's an Yeah, we <laughs> That's actually funny as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit, you guys get to see I, I cropped I crop out these images manually for my uh my BRB screen every time. So I hope you guys appreciate that extra level of effort I go to to preserve the Sonic 06 aesthetic. <laughs> okay. Well, um that was fun. Uh, again, sorry for disappearing like all the fucking time. It was a it was a rough night for dogs, but Millie is sleeping very soundly right now. So I think I think we're good for now. But uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. I will uh, try and have a schedule put together for this week because I would like to do that again. I would like to have a schedule. <laughs> Uh, 
Thank you for caring, taking care of your dog. Dude, I was- I would felt like shit if it was like, I didn't. Like, I love this dog so much. I was like, you know what? Chat can wait. And you know what? To, to your guys' credit, you were very patient. You guys waited for like a combined like 40 minutes throughout this entire stream. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, like everyone stayed. It was so fun. It was so- it's so awesome. All right. Um, is there anyone to raid? I don't think any of the people that I'd like... I need to make more like Twitch friends that I can actually raid because there's like no one online ever when I'm done streaming. All right, no, I, I ain't anyone, I ain't anyone streaming. Sorry, I'm not a streamer yet. I wouldn't raid you even if you were. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> I'm gonna go to- I'm gonna- I'm gonna end the stream now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Don't boo me. You know what you did, you piece of shit. Okay, bye- bye everyone, have, have a nice night. Bye. <laughs>